Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With the shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template, and once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sub list then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, 
sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Real Estate Database Template. So if you scroll down here underneath the database tools and miscellaneous templates, towards the bottom you're going to see this Access Real Estate Database. Go ahead and click that. Once that web page opens, go to the download a demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to download this one. Once it downloads, I'm going to open the file and the file is zipped up so you're going to need to extract all the contents before you can open the file. Hit extract all, then hit extract and once I've extracted it, you can then open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or warning. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And as always with our uh, database templates, you also get this pop-up box just stating that this is a demo version of this database. Therefore, none of the data or information you enter will be stored. If you want to store the information you enter, you need to purchase the full version of the database template. Also, it also has all the different ways you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to close out of this for now. So this is a real estate database template. It's designed for a real estate firm or organization or anyone maybe that rents out apartments. And it's designed to keep track of all your properties, all your tenants, and all your current leases, as well as any service providers that you may have. So it's pretty detailed and it has a lot of stuff that you can enter in. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a new property. So if you go to the properties tab and hit add new property, we are going to put in the address to of a new property. And now we're just going to make up some fake ones for the sake of this demonstration. And we're not going to fill out every single thing about this, but as you can see, you can fill out a lot of information about this, uh, your properties. Um, we're not going to fill out that, but you can go to property type. You can add in different property types if you'd like. Um, you can say maybe if you have a loan out on the property, you can put in how much the loan amount is, the assessed value, current value, how large it is, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, if it has a garage, your monthly mortgage, the housing, tax, insurance, down payment, a lot of information about this. You can even put in notes or you can even put in a picture of the property if you'd like. As well as if you, if you go to the lease tab, you can see all the current leases you have on it. We haven't added any leases, so there is no leases. Or if there's any service that needs to be done to that property, maybe how much it costs and what the service was. But we've not put any of that in, so there's none now. So now we can hit save and new. So now it saves it and a new one pops up, but we're not gonna make another one. We're gonna close out of this for now. And now if you wanted to search, quickly search through your properties, if you had a ton of properties and you maybe wanna just find some information quickly about it, simply type in the address, the city, the state, or the zip. So we're just going to type in the address since I have only created one, so it's going to be easy to find. 123 was the beginning number, so if I hit search, there you go. 123 test road shows up, and I can double click this record if I want to go back and edit some information about the record, or add in some new information. I'm not going to do that for now. So now we're going to go to the tenants tab, so I'm going to add a new tenant. It's similar to the, house, or the properties tab, just for a tenant. So now if we put in a name, you know, um, we can put in their uh, phone number, their address, email, we'll put in an email. Um, the same thing, you can put in a picture of the tenant, their tenant details, and you also can put in their leases. Um, we're going to add in the lease from the lease tab, but if they had a lease right now, they would show their lease would show up here. And you can even go to the lease application and it would also show up here. And you can also create a new lease from this, but we're going to go to the actual leasing tab to do that. So this can store a lot of information about the tenant as well as their lease. So hit save and new, same thing, a new one shows up. Close out of that for now, and now I can search for them if I want. So if I type in their first name, last name, company, or job title, because that's what you can search by, we're gonna go Blake, hit search, and there we go. That one I just created shows up. Same thing, you can double click that tenant, and you can go back and edit or add in some more information if you'd like. And so now we're gonna go to leases. So we're gonna add a new lease. So the property is the one we just created, 123 Test Road. That's the property we have. And the tenant is the tenant we just created, Test Blake. And we can say when they are going to start leasing it and when is their lease going to end, their monthly lease amount, how much do they pay for their security deposit, how much about their pet deposit, any notes about the lease. And you can also put in payments. So each month they pay, you 
could add in the new payment and you could keep track of all the payments they paid, how much they paid, if they are short, anything like that, as well as the date that it's due and the date that they paid. So you can add in a lot of information and you can add even add in multiple tenants to a specific property. So I just hit tenants and I can add in another one. Hit close and I'm going to know now go ahead and close out of this for now and now I can search for that lease. So you can search by the address, city, tenant or the start date. So if you search by the tenant, we'll type in Blake. There we go. That one I just created, double click that, that lease that I just created shows up. So I'll close out of this for now. And so now I'll also show you quickly how to add a service provider. It's very similar to the other ones once again, but for a service provider. So we could say this is a plumbing company. Obviously you could put in the, well, Bush put plumbing co. Fake company, but you could put in any inf information about them. You can put in the address of them. You can put in their email, web page, notes about them, as well as a picture of their, maybe their logo or something like that. And you can even see if they had a uh, current if they were currently providing some service for you, you can even see what their current ones were or if there was any previous services that they have provided. So hit save and new. Now I can close out of this and I can search for them. Type in plumbing, there we go. And that one, it automatically starts updating and you can see plumbing co shows up and I can double click if I want and go back and edit or add in some more information. I'm not for now. So this is, like I said, it's a pretty detailed database template and it can really do a lot. It'd be perfect for if you ran a rental organization or maybe you're a real estate agent or you just own some property and you wanted to keep track of all the properties, your tenants, if you have any leases on those properties and if you have any service providers. It's pretty detailed and it can, it's really powerful. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, database development, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough and have a great day.